Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing my favorite shampoos. First thing I want to ask you guys, do you guys shampoo in the shower or in the sink? I've done it in the sink before, but I've always had such a hard time getting my whole head done. So I do it in the shower now. So the shampoos I'm about to show you guys are not in any particular order. I'm just going to be sharing them randomly. But all of them I use, I kind of go based on how my hair is feeling or whichever shampoo I feel like using. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is the one by Cream of Nature. It's the, the one in the red bottle, so it looks like this. It is sulfate free. It's the Moisture and Shine shampoo. And I like to use this shampoo when I feel like my hair is really, really dirty and I feel like my hair needs a really good cleanse. So I mainly try to get it onto my scalp. Then I put a little bit onto my hair. So I really like to use this for a really nice clean. For the most part, I like to put my shampoo into an applicator bottle because I feel like it does a better job getting to my scalp versus pouring this into my hand and then trying to get it onto my scalp. So I pour a little bit of shampoo into the applicator bottle and then I fill it up with some water, shake it around, and then I apply it to my scalp in here. So the next shampoo is the one by Shea Moisture. It's a Manuka Honey Intensive Hydration Shampoo and it looks like this. So this is another great shampoo. It doesn't clean my hair like this one does. This one really cleans my scalp. This one is a little bit more moisturizing, but still a really great shampoo for your hair and your scalp. So the next one I want to share with you guys is, I don't have it here with me because I'm all out, but the next one is Aztec Healing Clay. It's not actually a shampoo, but it's a clay, but it works like a shampoo. For some people, they like to use it as a two-in-one, a shampoo and a conditioner, because they feel like after they use it, they don't need to use anything else. For me personally, it does a really good job with cleansing my hair and my scalp. It's actually like a detox for me. I like to follow up with deep conditioning after. I feel like it doesn't do a good job Job with putting moisture back in some people just need to use that and that's it and then they just go ahead and moisturize and seal but I personally like to follow up with a conditioner the next on my list is the Maui moisture Pearl quench plus coconut oil shampoo and I'm almost done this it has just a teeny little bit inside and this is another great moisturizing shampoo that I use for my scalp and my hair but see, this one is something that I wouldn't use when my hair is super, super dirty or my scalp has a lot of buildup because I don't think it does a good job with removing buildup off of my scalp. I need something a little bit stronger, which is why I use this one. And then finally, we have the Cream of Nature Clay and Charcoal Shampoo. And this is actually a pretty good shampoo. This actually does a pretty good job with getting buildup off of my scalp. It's almost like a detox shampoo because it ha because it has bentonite clay, it has charcoal in it. So this is a really good job with getting buildup off of your hair and scalp. This is something that came out, it's only a few months old. I did a whole video using this line. All of these shampoos smell really, really good, by the way. Those are the shampoos that I personally like to use on my hair hair in the shower and I like to put my hair in sections mainly six to four four to six sections using some clips or whatever and I like to use my applicator bottle because I feel like that's the best way to get to my scalp I know some of you guys just shampoo your hair in one big section for some reason I can't do that because my scalp will never get clean I will end up walking under getting out of the shower and my hair will be white because of all the buildup that's just sitting there on my scalp so I have to put my hair in sections and do it that way I've seen other people do their hair in twists and shampoo that way I haven't done it that way in years the last time I remember doing it that way in twists is when, when I first did my big chop when I had less hair now that I have so much more hair I just don't have the patience to take that extra step of twisting up my hair and shampooing and then untwisting it. But let me know how you guys do. Do you guys shampoo in sections? Do you guys shampoo in twists or braids? How do you guys do your hair? Also share with me your favorite shampoos. I'm always looking for some new shampoos. Most of these are almost done. So when they are done, I definitely will head out and get myself a new one. But yeah, these are my favorites. So let me know what your favorite shampoos are. <laughs>